<laughs> Electricity. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna try and make some high voltage art. Should be pretty cool. <laughs> That's super cool. What's up guys? Last week we scavenged a microwave oven transformer that we were able to make a pretty cool Jacob's Ladder with. If you haven't seen that video yet, well, click up here. This week we're gonna bring back the microwave oven transformer and see if we can't make some pretty cool artwork with it. Now, last week's video got me thinking about lightning bolts a little bit because in essence, that's what we were doing. Um, in between the, the two wires of the Jacob's Ladder, we're really, we're creating a small lightning bolt. And I think there's a really cool way we can use little lightning bolts to make some cool artwork. In fact, it'll actually capture those lightning bolts onto a timeless piece that we can hang on the wall. So we're gonna try this out. We've got the microwave oven transformer and I've got a piece of wood here that we're gonna use and see if we can make something pretty neat. I'm gonna start off by mixing a little baking soda into some water. That way we can spread it onto the surface of the board and get nice conductivity. That knocked the GoPro over. Let's see if we can get those to go a little better here. Wow, that's kind of scary. But super cool at the same time. Okay, well, proof of concept. We know that it will work. So we're not having much luck with that, but uh, there is one thing we can do that is kind of fun, and that's to create uh, some plasma. Just kind of makes me feel a bit like a madman. Yes. <laughs> Electricity. <laughs> that's super cool. All right, so what we're trying to do is create what's called a Lichtenberg figure, or Lichtenberg figure. I'm not exactly sure of the pronunciation, but who cares, right? We're creating lightning bolts onto the surface of a piece of wood, which I think is super cool, but it takes some really high voltage electricity in order to make this happen. Now, the microwave oven transformer that I uh, harvested last week only puts out between 1,000 and 1,500 volts, and I even ran it with a capacitor in line which should effectively double the voltage. I think we're gonna need a little bit more voltage than the microwave oven transformer that we've been using, so I'm gonna break out the 15,000 volt neon sign transformer and see if we can have any better luck. You know, bigger's better, right? 15,000 volts versus 1,000. You might remember this from the electricity video that I did a while back, starting a fire with electricity. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. We're gonna try that and see if we can get these Lichtenberg figures to come out a little better. So I kind of want to see what happens if we continue on. Uh, so I've added these nails and so we're going to connect them up, see if we can get another cool pattern right next to it.
Super cool and worked really well once I switched to the neon sign transformer. Just needed some higher voltage. That's it, no big deal. Uh, anyway, I think we got some pretty good results. I mean, um, that's pretty impressive. So I made a whole bunch of smaller ones, literally a whole stack of these that I made. And these, in fact, I'm actually going to have for sale very soon. Just gotta finish them and that sort of thing, make them look real good. And they're all completely different unique individual things so that's going to be a thing i'll tell you about that later this week so make sure you're subscribed to my channel make sure you click the little notification bell down there that you'll get all the updates and it will let you know when i'm going to let you know about what's going on with this deal ka-ching so i figured while well, i've got the neon sign transformer here i'd go ahead and show you the jacob's ladder with a little bit higher voltage this is 15,000 volts compared to about 1500 volts that we were running on the microwave oven transformer and you can see it works pretty amazing now one other thing about this please don't try this at home. We're dealing with high voltages. High voltage is very dangerous. It uh, can hurt you, it can burn you. In fact, it can even kill you. And I really don't want to hear about somebody messing around with this stuff. So don't mess with it. Don't do this at home. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. I had a ton of fun making these. In fact, I went crazy and I made a whole bunch of extras that I'm gonna put up for sale probably later on this week. So make sure you go check out my Facebook page. There'll be all kinds of details going on over there. Uh, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down there and that little bell button right next door to it. Make sure you click on that. That way you'll get all the latest updates and you'll know when I upload new videos like the one I'm gonna upload later this week to tell you how to get your very own custom you unique Lichtenberg figure. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button down there. Don't forget to subscribe like we talked about. And aside from that, make it happen. I'll catch you guys next time.